What's going on, Shroot Stack Squad? Today is Monday, April 5th, 2021, and this video is gonna be for entertainment purposes only. In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about ticker symbol NNOX, the current market conditions, and my portfolio update overall. Uh, so stick around with the family here, and I think you're gonna like what I have for you. If you're new to the channel, guys, this is Shroot Stacks, where I show you my journey to $1 million openly, transparently. There's no screen cropping out, none of that BS. You will not see this anywhere else on YouTube, no matter what anyone else says. Uh, it's, it's really rare to find this sort of transparency. Uh, you're going to actually see me put my money where my mouth is. And all I ask is they hit that like and subscribe button in return. So let's get into this. So, you guys, what I said over the weekend was what? That we were going to be looking at ticker symbol N N. OX nano X imaging right and look what happened <laughs> it had that huge run up and then it came all the way down right oops I think I just took a screenshot <laughs> um, so basically um, what ended up happening so I put I put in some money this morning I made a very small position remember whenever I say these sort of plays you don't want to just dump all your money in at once so I forgot how much money I put in initially but it was uh, I think it was like like a thousand bucks or something like that I ended up losing um, and they put in my trailing stop loss immediately, right? And once that got hit, it cashed me out and I lost. So I, I got out of the play. Because you see, you don't know when um, with some of these plays if they're going to keep running up, if they're going to cool off that day. It's really hard to tell, right? So that's what I ended up doing. That's why I always say it's all about risk management, guys. Um, that's my whole, that's my entire theory when it comes to investing. I'm not the I'm not the smartest. I'm not the richest. I'm not any of that but what i do be what i do believe i have a good balance on is risk management all right and that's kind of why i was able to create the portfolio i have right now and what i've been able to do so far in my investment journey like considering where i've come from before so that's why whenever you do these sort of plays guys never put in all of your money always break it up into a couple of, uh you know you could do thirds quarters uh whatever you whatever works for you but at the very least thirds at the very least especially penny stocks and these sort of like uh, volatile ones at least thirds i prefer even more frequent to be quite honest so um like four or five uh split your money into four fourths or fifths so like let's say you have a hundred dollars you could do 20 20 20 20 20 20 um or something like that and uh also trailing stop loss first thing that's what you do so that's what ended up happening here and it and it uh cashed me out in the morning so what i want to say about nano x imaging if you guys wanted to get in on this again right that's this is why we don't put all the money in because now we have cash with us if you want to make a position in here i'm I would consider below 45 is where you would want to think of it and really really in the 30s in the 30s is where you may want to keep adding up a little bit more everything I said in the video over the weekend still holds true you know I still see this being a hundred dollar stock um, you know and this some I don't want to say near term meaning like next week but it's I could definitely see this thing hitting a hundred dollars in a relatively soon time frame because y you can see this thing before it hit like ninety five dollars almost their fifty two week high um, it, it, with just anticipation of this alone so I could definitely see this thing going back to the hundred dollar mark uh, you know at some point with this thing so but again this is kind of we have to see how the sales numbers are and what the market's doing and a whole bunch of different factors because now it's fda approved now we got to see what the company does with it but if you wanted to start making a position maybe consider at 45 dollars and then and then hold keep some money back and then really if you see this thing tip that like go down into the 30s region oh yeah that's when that's when you can start making a position in this one so that's what happened with me on that one uh other thing i wanted to say was um what was the other play so like i said bngo people were asking about it again for me bngo i wanted it in the six dollars region so i'm not making my position in this thing yet and hey if i missed the boat on this that's all right i want you guys to understand there's always going to be another play so we don't always have to go with if it never hits the numbers that we want that's okay uh other play i want to talk about is ctxr man i i was really considering today to add in a little bit more money but you know it's a, i already have a lot of money sitting in this as a penny stock so i don't want to do any more but um but really this Sidious pharmaceuticals it's a risky play because there's no fta approval yet but you know what i'm saying end of the month right now end of the month remember that's a big catalyst for this stock Okay, we've seen how this thing, what, what this thing has done before. It, it easily went above into the 230s and all that way back in uh, February. You know, <laughs> when um, if the FDA approval goes through and things like that, oh, this stock can go flying. Uh, they have accelerated uh, time frame with the FDA. The, um, 
the technology that they're working on has all is already going to be implemented in hospitals like very quickly very very quickly they have the team that's working on this thing is phenomenal i made a video in the past going really much more in depth about this company but yeah just keep in mind for sidious if you guys haven't made your play in this one remember this is like a frosting layer <laughs> remember my cake analogy i always say think of your portfolio like a cake this is a way at the frosting level so you don't put a lot of your money in this but consider it because um in the frosting layer that, that one on the top because april 30th you know that's uh and the end of this month so we can see something happen there let's see what else i have to go through um you know i want you guys to remember this whenever it comes to the stock market right like we had that big uh this all of march effectively has just been a big uh you know it's been a big crap show with um a lot of the market conditions and the market was just pulling back pulling back and um because of that guys you have to understand when the market has a big pullback like that the first place the money is going to go back to okay it's going to be into these stocks way at the bottom let me just find them uh apple amazon facebook microsoft you know what i'm saying they're going to put the money into the stocks which are much safer as the market gets much more comfortable in putting money there then get, we can see the money come back to our more um i don't want to say short-term plays but the ones that are not as established like neo stbk palantir you see even though these are in my foundational layer right no matter what no matter what stpk is a more risky stock than google okay at the end of the day no matter what stpk is a more risky stock than google or apple just because how long have look at the valuation of those other ones you know how long have they existed and overall so with these markets up and down conditions the stocks that get hit the most are the smaller ones and the ones that recover the quickest i don't say they recover the quickest the ones that get hit the most are the smaller ones and the ones that get the last of the recovery are the smaller ones too so they're the first ones to get knocked down and they're the last ones to get pulled back up that's just the way things work and you know my my portfolio here is much more on the aggressive side right because uh, i'm trying to make this portfolio grow a little bit quicker uh to show you guys but in my other portfolios and stocks and stuff like that where i have a lot more of my uh long-term investments in those are starting to recover really well today and uh, i had actually had a green day in majority of my portfolios my, my overall stocks overall I actually had a green day today it's just this one in robin hood was down uh because of the plays i'm in so that's one 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 thing i wanted to share there uh let me see what else i gotta share oh this is another one one thing i want everyone to keep in mind all right let's let me show you this i had a good uh patreon supporter he uh he showed me this one yeah, i was actually researching it today too um shout out to adrian about this but united airlines guys united airlines keep this on your radar okay keep this on your radar and i'll tell you why they just made an announcement that they are starting to create significantly more um what's it called direct flights they're they're going to increase their destinations their their uh flight paths and routes that they're doing for united airlines coming up and second thing that they're doing is they're hiring a lot more pilots right now i just saw an article the yesterday or the day before about this united airlines is having an increase in their pilot hiring right now too so they're looking to expand their fleet they're looking to do a whole bunch of things like that i just saw uh i think it was yesterday that they're doing a route from charleston south carolina all the way to uh i think, was, I think it was indianapolis indiana like direct flights you know and, and and they're doing another one from charleston to uh what's it called cleveland and pittsburgh so you see and i was thinking why are they doing direct flights from there you know why are they doing these smaller direct flights and this is what hit me you know who is currently doing all of these smaller term uh short-term flights like that it's the spirit airlines the frontier airlines allegiant airlines because those companies are taking uh, they're taking part of the money from united airlines you know united airlines is a big dog in the entire airline industry right they're one of the biggest uh, players in the game here in america and now they want to compete with them because they're losing that share of the market so what what they're going to be doing here is this guys they're expanding their fleet they're expanding their pilots they're also what third thing that they're doing is now that they have this whole thing set up they need to go into big time recovery look at this i want you to see this 
their previous highs where they were sitting at 93 95 they were in the in the 80s you see this is one of the few airline plays that has yet to come up to its previous levels before uh you know the virus and all that hit it's one of the few that have yet to come up fully right this is one if you wanted to consider it as like a good uh you know recovery play things like that keep this on your radar for it because it's it has not been talked about as much yet on youtube and everywhere else and i think it's a sleeping giant i know previously chris uh christine was talking about macy's as his play i think united airlines is going to be our play all right i'm not gonna hype it up like he does <laughs> uh, i don't have that sort of um personality like he does where everything's going to double up i'm not going to tell you united airlines is going to double up but i can tell you i can definitely see this thing retesting the waters here of that 90 dollars region especially especially because that was the third catalyst i had to say um vaccine rollout guys vaccine rollout you see how many places have gotten them now how big how many uh states and things like that are opening up this is what this is in april today's april 5th a lot of the travel and things like that you know when it picks up after the memorial day in end of may right so we still have another month or two to see this thing pick up that's when all of these airlines if you look back historically around that time that's when a lot of people start beginning their summer vacations traveling things like that and now that there's uh vaccine rollouts things and on all of that we can start to see a lot more market coming this way that's why when i saw those flight paths that united's opening up charleston to indianapolis and all these like smaller term ones uh, there was a whole bunch of other like short-term flights too but look at that they're opening up vacation destination routes you follow what i'm saying the smaller vacation destinations because they're expecting a lot of people to go to them to start flying and, and do those vaca short-term vacation spots because people have been locked in way too long at this point and a lot of people are just waiting to go on some sort of trip some sort of vacation and uh i can see united airlines really taking a big chunk of the market share again remember this is the big dog united has been there for the longest time right now and um they are not looking to, sh to give up their share of the cake here all right uh i could definitely see this thing coming up i yeah like wh where is it sitting right now sixty dollars i don't have an actual like price entry point and things like that yet i haven't done enough uh you know research on what price i would enter in and things like that obviously it depends how long is your time frame to invest and whatnot but yeah this is something i wanted to put on everybody's radar all right I'm not going to talk too much in the videos. I know I do a lot of rambling, so I'm trying to cut back on it. Uh, so what else did I have to say? So with everything that I've covered so far in the video, um, if you wanted, like I said, where I found out a lot of these plays and where we discuss a lot of these ideas, it's in that Discord. I have that link in the Patreon below. I'm going to put a... I'm going to put a comment in the top on the top section of the comment section here. So if you wanted to click that, you can go through and do it. All we ask is if you decide to join the Discord, just take the investment journey seriously. You don't have to be experienced. You don't have to be a beginner. You could be anywhere you are in your investment journey. Just please be serious. Only thing we request, all right? That's that. I cannot even tell you the amount of people in that Discord channel who have been able to increase their portfolio, actually get their uh, strategies correctly. We, we make them break the bad habits and adopt the good ones. So that's all I'm going to say on that end. And like always, stay happy, stay healthy. Let's get wealthy. Take care.